Hello, hello, hello. I keep wanting to say good morning, but it's really not morning anymore, y'all. It's afternoon. <laughs> so, um, come have some brunch and a new way to cook bacon. And uh, Noah cr freaking out in the background. It's fine. It's fine. So... <laughs> Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Anyway, so as you guys hop on, say hey, let me know where are you coming in from. We are literally, it's super simple guys. We're just making bacon and eggs. Like this is not difficult. We're going to have some bacon. We're going to have some eggs. Whoops. We're going to have um, some avocado. Hopefully. I think I need you guys to help me though. Like I suck at picking out avocados. I suck at it. Um, I always think, oh, I've got some really good ones. Like I got some at Costco the last time we were at Costco. And I left them out on the counter because they were super hard. And I was like, it's fine. I'm not going to use them right now. And then, um, and then I left them in the refrigerator. And now they're all like mush. So I'm, this one, this one might be okay, but now I'm afraid that when I cut into these, they're going to be like brown, black, I don't even know. So it's going to be a surprise for all of us. It's going to be so fun. Um, <laughs> anyways, as you guys hop on, say hello, let me know where you're coming in from. If you, sorry, I don't know where my spatulas are. What in the heck? If you guys are joining me live, put the number one or the word live down in the comments. If you guys are watching on the replay, drop I miss you down below because you missed us. And that's okay. I know everybody has work. You know what? I'm what in the world? Um, I know that everybody has work and not everybody can jump on, especially in the middle of a day on a random Tuesday. So as you guys hop on, say one or live. And if you're watching on the replay, we missed you and just drop I miss you down below. So I've been watching this TikTok trend and so I decided to try it out today and I think it's okay. I think it's going to work. Um, so I get thick cut bacon. If you guys are thick cut bacon kind of people, let me know in the comments. Um, so I get thick cut bacon, um, normally from like Winco or I got this one from, um, from Fred Meyer and so I um, tried this trend that they were doing where they take the bacon and they twirl it they twist it and they could cook it in the oven so um, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because I put it in before we got started just to see if it was gonna be something that was gonna work um, and it's almost done it needs I think it needs a a little bit longer just because it's thick cut bacon but like thick cut bacon yes from prince george oh it is um it's a pretty day outside it's cold it's like super cold uh i mean not like super cold minnesota cold or anything but um it is cold here anyway if you are new to me my name is jenny lynn curry welcome to my kitchen um, if you hear a random child, like do some kind of crazy, like scream, you know, or anything like that, that would be my five-year-old. He tends to, you know, like make noise every once in a while. Um, if you hear dogs bark, we do have three, uh, dachshund, corgi, chihuahua mixes. Um, so that is Duke, Oreo, or Peanutty. She's the little two pound one. So if you see her underneath my feet, just tell me because most of the time I don't even know she's there. <sighs> From sunny South Carolina. Ugh. I just, you know, I really want to move. And we're like thinking about it, dreaming about it, planning about it. But I am not somebody who loves hot, hot, hot weather. And I'm like, everywhere we've talked about moving has hot, hot, hot weather at some point or another. And I am like a mild kind of weather kind of girl. 
So if you guys know places where we should move that are mild weathered places, you tell me. Because I want out of Washington. I mean, I love Washington and all, but I've been here my entire life. It is time to hit the road, Jack. Um, plus, because I work, I literally work for my phone. I get paid to do this, right? I get paid to cook for my family. I can cook in a motorhome if I wanted to. And don't even think that the thought has not gone past me because I'm like, okay, what if we just sold the house and we just packed up and we went on the road like the kids are not in school anyways they're doing distance learning well now they're doing half distance half in-person learning but like we could literally be driving around the countryside actually teaching them history at history locations like really anyway I'm gonna cut into this and if it's gross I'm gonna be mad but I feel like it's gonna be gross oh yeah, that's not good. Okay. So somebody give me a freaking trick on how to get good avocados. This is one of the avocado bags from Costco, which I normally don't buy, but Ricky was like, I think they're really good ones. I think they're really good ones this time. Eh, it's better than the other one. Anyways, I don't know. So we are cooking, um, I'm just cooking some grass-fed eggs free range grass fed uh some free range eggs in some ghee butter and i put a little oops, this is sticking bad why is that sticking so much um get some butter in there there we go anyway i put some ghee butter down um for the healthy fats as much as oh man i broke that one as much as the flavor too. So I've got free range chicken eggs. This is garbage. Oh, that makes me so mad. Makes me so mad. So tell me what are your tricks for finding good avocados? Cause your girl needs some tricks. Obviously, I don't know how to pick an avocado or maybe I just don't know how to take care of it once I pick it. I don't know. Anyway, so Check out this bacon, y'all. Let me get a, this other one on before I burn myself. Because y'all know I'm dangerous. Okay. So, bacon. You just literally twist it into little twisties. And then you put it in the oven at 350. I had to cook mine because mine's thick cut bacon. I had to cook mine for about 30 minutes. Um... And if you like it crispier, I would say to do it a little bit longer, but I don't like crispy bacon. I like my bacon kind of chewy. So let me know, do you like chewy bacon or do you like crispy bacon? Because my husband likes crispy bacon. I'm more on the chewy side. And I think the kids are like half and half, honestly speaking. Like, Gabby likes crispy, Logan likes chewy, Noah just likes bacon in general. So, you know, it's whatevs. But I love doing it like this, um, just because you can have more on the, on the pan than you can if you lay them flat which I love that. And I love that all of the extra baking grease can go in a jar and be used for later. Because when I do it out on my Blackstone, all of that good, yummy, all of that good, yummy bacon grease, um, just gets, just gets, um, put in the grease trap, right? Because there's not really any way to collect it. I mean, I guess if I cleaned out my grease trap only when I did bacon, but look at that. Yum. So I normally do our bacon in the air fryer as well. I need to get these eggs out of here. Um, but I can only do like eight or 10 pieces at a time. 
Well, it's really, I can really only do like eight pieces at a time in our air fryer. And we have a pretty big air fryer, honestly. But <clears throat> I don't, um, that's all it really can handle at one time. And so I like that I can do it in the oven like that. Um, or I do it, like I said, I do it on my black stone. But then I miss out on all those healthy, yummy fats. So, anyway, this is going to be brunch. So, I've got three eggs, right? What are you doing, dude? Let me get this. I used ghee butter, this one, to saute in my pan. RV living sounds amazing, right? Mom, look, now I got I, okay, going. so there's got to be a reason Mom, yeah, why. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's got to be a reason why on. Um, oh, okay. Why on TikTok I keep getting stuck in those like van life RV things or whatever. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like van life, they're re. They're converting vans and they're going out and living in the, on the countryside, you know, or whatever. Do you guys see this? Do you guys Hi have guys. one of these? Hi, guys. Okay, Wait, mommy. so mommy. let's see. I tried to cut past the mommy. brown spots. Oh, it's not bad. It's not too mommy. bad. Excuse me, mommy. That part's a little iffy, but there we go. Well, I got like half an avocado. Mommy, I lost my other we'll coins. See. In the... my you coins lost are... your coins? No, I didn't lost my other coins. Oh, what'd you do? No, they... Okay, my, so who has coins, tips for me on avocados? Like, seriously, I need tips, y'all. My... Oh, it's in the Lexus? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's we'll... there. Okay, we'll go get it in a minute. So uh, got, because your girl cannot do it. I got better ones. Did you do the jalapeno cheese things? No, I'm going to do those today. I didn't have time yesterday. No, no, look, we don't need them. I already got another one. Oh, okay. So we don't need the ones in the Lexus? No. Okay. Um, uh, so I have not done those ones yet. I'm going to do them today, probably right after this, actually. I'm going to, um, I'm just going to make a TikTok about it. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. It's too brainy. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make a TikTok about the cheese chips. So they're jalapeno, cheddar, and bacon cheese chips. Um, and I'm going to make them out on the black stone just because they're going to be easier and less messy out there. So I'm super, super excited about that. So if you guys aren't following me on TikTok, you definitely want to be. Hi, TikTok people. <laughs> um, in just my TikTok and my Instagram, both of them are Jenny Lynn Curry, so it's super, super easy to find. Oh, you got two buckets? Yes, I don't need so, the coins in the Alexis. Okay, that's fine. You can just leave them. Okay. I got two buckets full of them. Okay. He's, he's um, loving the little coins that I got for St. Patty's Day. They're his treasure. Anyway, so three eggs... Like, I don't know, what was that? Like a quarter a quarter of an avocado? I'll and then these the cool counter. new bacon strips. Mommy, I'll get off the counter if you give me a bacon mm -hmm. and an egg. If I give you a bacon and an yeah. egg? Yep. Okay, good, because that was one for you. <laughs> anyway, so. And I'm a pirate. Those of you guys that think and keto I has to be hard and has to be this super detail-oriented, like, Oh my God! What am I gonna cook? Kind of situation. And I'm a pirate. It does not have to be I'm that difficult. I'm hunting for gold. Like literally, make some bacon and eggs. Have have some avocado. I'm a pirate. Have some berries. I'm hunting for gold. Now I got You know, my if gold you treasure. are like. Okay, get down. But it doesn't have to be hard, guys. It does not have to be difficult. Bacon, eggs, and some avocado. You can do um, egg cups if you want to do the bacon, egg, and cheese cups in the muffin tins. I even got some... Um, I don't know where they went. 
You're rich? Yes. You are rich. Oh my, Lanta. I would show you what I got, but I can't. Oh, nope. Oh, here they are. So I got, um, I'm not a fan of cleaning out the muffin tin all the time. So I got these little um, plastic things that go in your muffin tins. So you can make um, your egg bites in your muffin tins. And then you literally have little individual little muffin guys that you can take with you. Um, but it's super easy guys. It's not, this is not difficult. I, I think a lot of people get in their heads too much because they think, oh, I need, I'm going to start this new diet, right? It's not a diet. It's a way of eating. And I have to learn all of this new stuff and I have to know everything about it. And I'm going to do it wrong if I don't, if I don't do it a certain way. Okay, sister, <laughs> you're not. It's fine. It's like anything else, yeah, is does it take a little bit to get used to? Does it take a little bit of flipping your brain? Yes, of course. I got those muffin liners at uh, Target. I got them at Target. But it doesn't have to be difficult, guys. It's literally just changing certain things that you can change. So instead of having hash browns with your eggs and bacon, you're going to have avocado or you're going to have some berries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, whatever, right? Instead of having um, a hamburger with french fries, you're going to have a bunless burger wrapped in lettuce with maybe you're going to make some turnip chips or maybe you're going to have some quest potato chips or maybe you're going to have some pork rinds it doesn't maybe you're not even going to have chips you're going to have a side salad instead you're going to have a hamburger and a side salad you want tacos today's taco tuesday right you can still have tacos you just don't have this the shell if you want a shell make a cheese shell it's not that difficult you literally take some cheese you can even do it in the microwave just put a pile of cheese on a um on a plate, like a, just a regular plate, it'll create its own oil. So you don't have to grease it or anything. You just put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds at a time and it's gonna crisp up. You're gonna have a cheese chip or a cheese tortilla, so to speak. It's super easy. Uh, if you want pizza, fine, make pizza. Just use fathead dough instead. You, or oh, I've even made a, a chicken crust pizza. You guys want the recipe? I've got the recipe. If you wanna make spaghetti, we were huge spaghetti people because spaghetti is less expensive than like a steak and potato, right? And we have a lot of kids, so we have to be cognizant of that. And so what would we do? Spaghetti and garlic toast, right? Now we do spaghetti squash or you can do zucchini noodles. Or if you're like, I am not, I don't want to do the whole vegetable noodle thing. That's fine. You don't have to. You can simply do, um, they have, if you're doing clean keto, this won't work for you. But if you're doing just regular keto in general, you can do the mag, uh, what, is, what are they called? Healthy noodles from Costco. They come in a box with six packets in it. You can use palmini noodles. They come in a can. Um, I don't like shiitake noodles because to me they smell like dirty feet but to each their own I know lots of people who love them um, I think the trick is to soak them in almond milk um, I tried that and I still didn't like them so whatever totally fine no judgment here you got to do what you got to do um, but it's super super easy adjustments you just need to make um, does it get hard when your entire family is not eating keto and there's bags of chips laying around and there's bag you know there's cake or cookies or whatever laying around yeah but there's always going to be difficult things that you have to just figure out how to get around right um i will say that when i forced the family more to keto and less to the junk one our grocery list went down our our um yeah pick your heart exactly like being overweight is hard being mentally bogged down because you can't think clearly is hard. You just have to pick your hard, you know? Um, but I did notice that when I switched them more to a keto lifestyle, 
um, our grocery cost went way down because guess what? When you're eating keto, like real keto, I'm not talking like all processed stuff, all the stuff in the boxes or the bags. No, because nine times out of 10, it says keto on the front and it not is not keto on the back, y'all. When you become keto or when you're looking into it, start turning the labels around and reading what's in the labels. Like there were a couple things that I bought just because I wanted to show people the difference. Um, like maybe this one. Like this one, it says it has four grams of net carbs, one gram of sugar, 14 grams of fiber, right? It, they're Quest bars, right? Everybody's like, oh, Quest is great, Quest, Quest is great. However, it has whey protein. Oh, careful, buddy, that's hot. It has whey protein in it. It has soluble corn fiber in it. It has all of these other things in it that could offset your ketosis, right? So if you're eating a bunch of these and you're seeing a stall, even though it's technically four net carbs and it fits within your macros, it may not fit within your keto lifestyle, you guys. Same thing with these. Somebody was like, oh, I totally eat these. Um, yeah, it's two grams of net carbs, but there's um, all kinds of milk in it, which is an inflammatory. There's inulin in it, palm kernel, soy lectin. I mean, there's all kinds of bad stuff in it. So it just depends on what you want your, your journey to be, right? If you don't care about um, what's in the product and you're just looking at net carbs, great, do that. If you're like, oh, no, I really wanna try and keep my A1C level down or I'm really trying to keep my insulin levels down, pay attention to the ingredients. If, that, if you're literally just looking for fat loss and you're going by net carbs, more power to you, do what you gotta do. But just, Keep in mind if you get to a stall or anything like that, those would probably be one of the first things that I would um, remove from my diet. So, here you go, bub. Here you go, baby. Bye. So, anyway, that's it for us. My food is probably cold now, but I'm gonna eat it. And um, definitely be following me on Instagram and on TikTok. I will be doing that. Um, cheese chip with the bacon and the jalapeno today because I think it's going to be amazing and it's not raining outside and I got to take advantage of when it's not raining. Um, anyways, check out this new way of doing bacon. I think it's awesome in the um, oven if you don't have an air fryer or a Blackstone or you want to save your bacon grease. That's the perfect way. Anyways, if you're not already following me here on Facebook or on TikTok, uh, click my nose. There's three dots up there. Make sure you follow. Send me to see first. You can send me a friend request. If you would like to be in my recipe group with literally thousands and thousands and thousands of recipes, drop the word recipe down below and I can get you added to that. Otherwise, have a great day. Come join me again tomorrow. I don't know what I'm cooking, but it'll be something keto. <laughs> see you.